Hi, and welcome back to Crown Imperial Pocket Bullies YouTube channel. Today, we are going to discuss the stages of dog labor. There are three stages of labor, and this whole process normally takes 12 to 24 hours. Stage one, contractions are not noticeable in the abdominal area. However, your girl's body is working hard internally. The myometrial uterine contractions increase in frequency and strength, and the cervix dilates. Myometrial is the middle muscle layer of the uterus. So this is working while it's not visibly seen by your eyes. Your girl may exhibit changes in disposition and behavior. She may display or become restless, more reclusive, refuse to eat. She may vomit, intermittent nesting, as well as panting and trembling are associated during stage one. During stage one, the vaginal discharge may be clear and watery. Stage two begins when you notice your girl's abdominal area begin to tighten and release, which are accompanied by the myometrial contractions that culminate in the delivery process of a neonate, also known as a puppy. Normally, these abdominal efforts should not last longer than one to two hours between each puppy, although great variation does exist. Again, the total time for delivery can take up to 24 hours. During stage two, vaginal discharge can be clear, serous, to hemorrhagic or green. Typically, your girl will continue to nest between delivery of puppies. She may nurse and groom neonates intermittently. Panting, not eating, and trembling are usual characteristics displayed. Stage three is defined as the delivery process of the placenta. Mm, so let's think about this. Stage two and stage three facilitate between each other. This means that they alternate since most placenta are delivered after each pup. This may vary as well. Delivery is not complete until all fetuses and placentae are delivered. This is why is it advised to conduct a puppy count before your girl's planned labor. A retained fetus or placenta tissue can lead to serious bacterial infection in the uterus. Symptoms of a retained puppy or placenta include green discharge for more than 24 hours after birth, fever, or your girl displays lethargy or very tired. A veterinarian will perform a palpation test and may administer oxytocin to help expel the tissue. Although a retained pup or placenta is not common, it may arise. Any complications during the delivery, please contact your veterinarian or a local veterinarian hospital. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe so you may be updated on the next series, Stages of Development, Part 1. Neonatal to transitional from zero to four weeks.